Have you heard of the F-1 and RS-25 rocket engines? Two of the most powerful rocket engines ever designed. Well, I'm going to show you them. Hi, I'm John Williams, and I want to show you two of the biggest rocket engines ever designed and flown. First, we have the RS-25 main engine, which was the main engine on the back of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. Now, the Space Shuttle might seem a little bit familiar. It should. It flew 135 times. It had two SRBs, solid rocket boosters on the side, an external fuel tank that held liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, which powered three of these bad boys on the back of the shuttle orbiter. So at liftoff, you had these providing about 5 to 10% of all the thrust needed to get to orbit. The rest was done by the two white SRBs. And each one produced around 500,000 pounds of thrust, which is really powerful. So together you have 1.5 million pounds of thrust. And after the SRBs were jettisoned around two minutes and 30 seconds, kept going for like six to eight minutes pushing the shuttle up to orbit so it's really cool and a cool design factor is these pipes right here you can see these pipes are welded are welded together these pipes had liquid oxygen flowing through them throughout the launch that is to cool down the nozzle so it didn't melt when all the hot gases were being and all the hot liquid and gas were being blasted out of the nozzle so it's really cool and if you look up at the top, you can just see how much technology that was in this engine. It's really amazing. So let's go over here now. Over here, we have the Saturn V F1 engine. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the RS-25. Just kidding, it's a lot bigger. This engine took us to the moon. There were five of these on the first stage of the Saturn V rocket. Each one produced 1.5 million pounds of thrust. Each one. That means basically three of those RS-25 engines that were built in the 1970s are equal to one of these. And these were built in the 1960s. It's incredible. So this engine, it is much bigger because you need a much bigger nozzle to hold and really take advantage of the efficiency of having liquid kerosene and liquid oxygen. And this big pipe around here is where the exhaust gases were flowing to power the turbo pumps, which was basically a jet engine. That's what controlled how much power was, or how much um, horsepower was pushing the fuels into the combustion chamber, which is what this is. So the two engines in particular are very different, but they're very similar. So just remember, Saturn V F1, 1.5 million pounds of thrust, RS-25, 500,000 pounds of thrust. Two big monumental engines that we are still using the designs of today. RS-25 will actually be powering the SLS, and the Saturn V is still being used its technology is being used to create efficient engines that are still operating today. Cool stuff. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.